Okay, I just thought I'd show you this quick video of my first table saw that I ever got. It's a Rockwell Beaver. It's probably from the 1970s. It's a 10 inch. It's a little crank on the side. You just loosen this off, turn it, and that will turn, change your angle. And then the other one here will change Oops. your blade going up and down. I picked it up uh, actually 13 years ago when I got married. This was my first big tool purchase. Wire for 110, which is what we use in North America. It's got a decent motor, one horsepower, I'm not too sure. This is a modification I added to the bottom of the uh, table saw. It's basically uh, some ABS plumbing pipe and I put a little piece here and then what I do is I can put my vacuum onto the bottom here and it'll suck some of the sawdust out. Uh, if you can cut down on sawdust anywhere you work, it's just overall better. It's better for your health and also less chance of causing fire. And then what I've got on the saw here is what they call a laminate or melamine blade. It's got lots of teeth. So when you're cutting something like uh, melamine that's got like a bit of a pre-finished top, it keeps it from tearing out like the surface. What I do a lot, I'm sure you've seen other professionals do, is put tape down and then draw your line on top of your tape and that keeps it from blowing out. I use, uh, for my saw blades, they might have it in the States, it's called Danger Blade. You buy a saw blade for, let's say, $50. When it gets dull, you just take it back to them and you only pay about $20 to get a newer blade and they take the old one back and recycle it and sharpen it again. So for a project you're working on, you want to keep costs down. It's a lot cheaper than buying a brand new good blade.